I mean, just look at her. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and nod. Mm -hmm. Good morning, universe. Good morning, everyone. This is John. Before we begin, please go ahead and click that bell so you can get future updates of my videos. So I just watched the preliminary competition an hour ago and I took some notes to talk about the top 10 candidates that kind of captured my attention. And that's what I'm going to share with you today in this video. But first, let's talk about the music. Music this year is totally different. I mean, Usually, Miss Universe would choose Holiday Beat, but not this year. It was too relaxing, to be honest with you, that I kind of fell asleep in the middle of the swimsuit competition. I actually like the music. It's something different. However, I don't understand why they use the same music, the same beat, for swimsuit competition, for evening gown competition, even for national costumes. So I'm kind of surprised about that. I mean, they should have used like a faster beat for swimsuit, right? The stage! Oh my goodness, I love the stage. It's very spacious with elegant background. You actually see all the candidates, their walk, their evening gown, and they really had that time to parade their national costume. To be honest with you guys, the excitement about this year Miss Universe is not as high compared from the previous years. I don't know, but I feel like they just arrived in Israel and all of a sudden it's preliminary and tomorrow is finals. I feel like I didn't even get to see any activities from the candidates. I didn't even get to know the candidates. I usually do a lot of early favorites predictions, but this is the only video that I'm probably gonna do for this batch because like what I said, I am not seeing a lot from them. Anyway, let's still talk about the 10 candidates that stood out for me during the preliminary competition. Listen to my top 10 and please don't forget to comment below if you agree. So this is going to be in alphabetical order. My first one on my list is Miss Argentina. She walked mysteriously in that gray black gown and it definitely matched her short hair. I love her aura. She's different from the other candidates. You probably don't have Miss Argentina on your list. I really have a strong feeling that she has the chance to make it to semifinals. So my first one, Argentina. My second one is Miss Belgium. Belgium gown, if you look at the video, I'll insert it here. It's actually very simple. But you know what captured my attention is her expression, the fear. She was giving me fears the entire time. So again, my second one, Miss Belgium. Number three is Chile. Chile wore a red gown. She reminds me of Miss Costa Rica from last year. Costa Rica again was top five last year. I don't know, she was giving me that vibe. She was very calm in the, during the evening gown competition, but when they gave her that close up, she knows when to pee. Number four, of course, how can you not notice Miss Colombia? Excellent passerella, posture, the walk, very sophisticated. This might be her year, Miss Colombia. Number five is Miss Croatia. I actually don't know about Miss Croatia, but she's so gorgeous. She looks so confident. She did everything she could during the preliminary for swimsuit, especially during that evening. I have not heard her talk, but I think based on her performance, she might be one of the semifinals, Miss Croatia. Number six on my list is Miss India. We really have a strong feeling that Miss India will take the crown this year. Just watch the video. Do I even have to say anything about it? I mean, just look at her. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and nod. Mm -hmm. Miss India. Number seven is Paraguay. How she carried that gown with that flowy gown as soon as she entered the stage. Wow, that was impressive. Number eight, of course, ang aking kababayan, Miss Philippines. Not that impressed with Miss Philippines' performance this year. She was just giving me that smiley face the entire time. I did not see a variety or a transition of her expression. I did not even feel any freshness at all. She was too safe. Somehow I felt that I wish she incorporated some techniques during her local pageant, but this year, this year preliminary, of course I think she will still make it to semifinals. As you know, Philippines probably has the largest fan base. So she will make it, but she really needs to peak. She needs to give me that fierce look. She needs to give me a transition during her walk. I just didn't see that this preliminary. 
Number nine is Puerto Rico. Love the energetic and cheerful walk. That purple gown complimented her personality. You know, she walked so bubbly. She was so excited. It was very refreshing. And then last one, of course, Miss USA. Honestly, I don't like her gown, but I love how she wore that confidence, that sophistication, telling everyone that I am ready to be your Miss Universe. So again, number 10, Miss USA. So who's gonna win this year? I don't know if I even have time to do my top three prediction because tomorrow is already Miss Universe, but my top two, okay? Any of the two can win Miss Universe just based on what I saw during the preliminary competition. And I'm talking about Miss India and Miss Paraguay. One of them will be Miss Universe 2021. Who's your choice? Go ahead and comment below and let me know your favorites during the preliminary competition. After this vlog, I'm gonna go ahead and watch the national costume competition and we'll see if I have time to do another video about that, like a top 10 review or something. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time, happy holidays.